Hi everybody and welcome once again to my Minecraft 1.7.2 Let's Play. And I'm back again to torture you guys with another episode. So, my little sheepy guy. Hi sheep. Okay, so what did I get? I, I went mining. I got a lot of iron ore ton in the last episode. I think it was we got all this stuff. We got some gold, just a little bit. But doing okay. Um, let's go ahead and uh, cook up this iron actually. Let's do that. Let's put this in here. I'll use the dark oak wood planks to cook that up for now, even though I have quite a bit of coal. Look at that, a whole stack of coal, actually. So we're doing pretty good on that. Let me grab that gunpowder, some string. Oh, right, that's what we did in the last episode. I got some spider string. This was a big goal of mine because I wanted to make a fishing pole. That was a big, huge goal so we could try some fishing. So that's what I'm going to do in this episode. Uh, sometimes I forget these things, where I was or what, because actually I have a bunch of series going, and sometimes that night might not be the best idea in a way that, in the way that, like, you know, I get lost with what, you know, with what I was up to in each thing, you know, in each series, so gotta keep up with that. All right, so we got our chest. Actually, let me go ahead and, uh, whoa, I didn't mean to do that. I, like, clicked around. Let's use this dark wood, and let's go ahead and make another chest. We have just enough here. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that, actually. Sometimes I get the best of my... You know what? It's actually, I, it seems like I'm jerking my hand around, like moving it quickly like that. And it's because my mouse pad, I have one of these mouse pads that has like a, a wrist, um, like a rest it for your wrist kind of thing it's called. I don't know. And it's actually a pain. Let me actually, I'm going to move it out of the way because I seem to, I don't know why it's like, it's not good. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> uh, let me just, now I think I'm better now. Okay. Just don't want my, to move around like that. All right. So. Uh, just putting some stuff away, doing a little house cleaning here, little organization. And what do I have here in pickaxes? I'm good. Let's put the sand away as well. And there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and make our fishing pole. What do you say? As I cook up all this iron. So this is great. So I got, I definitely have a whole set of armor, which is going to help me basically survive. Unless, of course, I fall in lava like I did in my Lion King. I think it was the Lion King Let's Play that I fell in lava. Yeah, I can laugh about it now, but I was crying when it happened because I had some really cool stuff on me. So, alrighty. So what is the fishing pole? Let's see if I got this right. I'm pretty sure I do. Three sticks and two pieces of string. Am I right? Yes. So we have our fishing rod. Sorry. Um, well, fishing pole, fishing rod. So we have our first fishing rod. I cannot wait to see what we're going to catch here. So let's go ahead and grab that. And actually, let me just... How much? Oh, one string left. Bummer. Too bad we don't have one more. Okay, let's go ahead and see. There are new fish in this version of Minecraft, and I can't wait to see what we get. So let's check it out. I hope it's easy to fish. Oh, look, the water is like... Do you see the water is like... Did that always do that? I don't remember the water like splashing. Little bubbles. Oh, yay. Oh, oh my gosh. Leather. That's right. You know, I forgot we can also get um, like junk. Like uh, you can get like all kinds of things when you fish. And I forgot. I did read that and I forgot about that totally. So we got some leather. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay, let's see now what happens. Come on, come on. Something good. I know fishing is normally very boring in any Let's Play, but I definitely want to see. Let's try a few times, see what we get. I think it's kind of fun just to kind of see what we get. But the water flashing is a neat little graphic that they've done that I'm pretty sure wasn't there before. And there's like little bubbles. So you could see like when something is going close to the hook or something. So that actually is neat in the graphic part of it um, that I don't remember seeing that before. So I'm pretty sure that must be new now. Um, there it goes, there it goes. See it, see it's going near the pole. There we go. So cool. Okay, so that's just a normal fish. Now, I thought there were different types of fish. So let's see if I'm right. I'm, that's what I read, I think. So so we can get junk, like leather, <laughs> and all kinds of things we could fish up from the from the oceans, from the... Oh, there we go. You see the little bubble? There we go. So you can... Oh, a fishing pole. Yay! All right, we have another fishing rod. Awesome. I keep saying fishing pole. Silly me. We have another fishing rod. I am so excited about that. It's so awesome. I've said this before in another episode. Um, I actually am not a fisher woman, <laughs> but um, when I was young, I used to go out to Long Island, um, way out uh, near Orient Point, if anybody knows from, there it goes, little, little bubbles. Cool. Oh, we got a different type of fish. We got a raw salmon. Yay! <laughs> I have to clap because this is so cool. I was really excited about this to see the different types of fish. Anyway, I used to go out to Long Island. And I have an, my uncle has a house out there, so I went sometimes, not, you know, 
um, not too often, but sometimes, and they would fish for snappers. And it was so much fun because it's the type of thing in August where there's tons of them. So literally you throw the, see, I'm so bad, the lure, is it? I don't even know what it's called, the hook in. And uh, literally like, like Minecraft, you just pull it out. Basically, you got to move it, keep moving it, because we used to use, sometimes we'd have real bait, but also sometimes we'd have um, the little, it's like a shiner thing. It's like the hook has a little shiny thing, and I guess the fish thought that was the fi the little fish. And um, and basically, we would, just as fast as I'm doing it here, more or less, is how, you know, fast I would catch snappers. And it was really fun, I have to say. I think it's fun, for me, it's fun when you catch quickly. You know, you're not like all day, but I know the real fishermen, they like to be, you know, you know they could be sitting in a boat all day and just have that line waiting there and, you know, that's fun. You know, not that I'm saying it's not fun. Just, I prefer like, you know, movement all the time, I guess. So, so I enjoyed that. So, and actually out there one day I had gone, um, I think we were walking by like a boardwalk area and I saw some people fishing up squid. I had never seen that. And whoa, I didn't get anything. And that is so cool. They had like, it was nighttime and they had like a little light and the hook is like all these little pinchy things like in round circle. And they were catching, there were a ton, a ton of squid. So it was really cool to see how they catch that. I had no idea. So right there from the, you know, from the um, boardwalk, it wasn't like they were on a boat or anything. And they were, you could see the squid in the water, like coming towards the light. It was pretty cool. It's like mosquitoes coming towards the light. So I just thought that was interesting. Sorry. But in this game now, um, well, I don't know in vanilla Minecraft, but I know uh, in my magic farm, I had killed a squid in the game and... It actually gave me squid, like, as a food. That must be part of um, a mod or something. Here we go. So we have raw fish and salmon so far, and we got some leather. Uh, so pretty cool. But, yeah, I guess that must be. I don't think that's vanilla Minecraft, but could, but I could always, you know, get some squid here and see. But I'm pretty sure it's not vanilla Minecraft because that's really part of the whole cooking mod. Maybe it's part of Pam's um, Harvest Craft, I think is it, it is. I'm not really sure. But um, I did get that in that. Oh, whoa, what's this? A puffer fish! I love puffer fishes! <laughs> oh my gosh, I love puffer fish. Seriously, in, 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 on Long Island, actually, when we were swimming, we'd find little ones, and then you, you hold them in your hand, and they blow up. Of course, I put them back because they're too cute. But oh my gosh, I didn't know vanilla Minecraft has puffer fishes! Yay! Okay, it's the little things in life that make me happy. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so, so cool, the puffer fish. But I'd hate to cook it up, but <laughs> there's not much else I could do with it, I guess. But uh, yeah, that is so cool. All right. So, all right, we found two new fish the salmon and the puffer fish. And we got some junk, some leather. So. Come on, let me get some, why not some uh, diamond? Can I, oh, another puffer fish, yay! <laughs> they are cute, I love the graphic. It looks like he's like splat against like a window, right? That's kind of like, like, oh no, against the window. That's kind of how he looks to me, so. <laughs> yeah, I crack myself up, I know, I know. <laughs> Actually, I think it's pretty funny. Oh, it's almost nighttime, we're gonna have to retire from fishing. There it goes, the little bubbles near, I love that. Oh, we got a lily pad, oh, that's so funny. Actually, this is actually really, I love it. I love fishing. <laughs> you guys are like, oh no, please stop fishing now. <laughs> no, actually, I love it. It's pretty cool. So there we go. Let's head off to sleep. Head off to sleep. So I'm a cow tipper, even though I haven't killed any cows. So <laughs> got that leather. All right, let's continue and see what else we get. So puffer fish, salmon, and uh, some leather. Oh, and a lily pad. Yes. Get, I would love to get diamonds. You think we could, maybe we could get a diamond here. Who knows? I mean, it's random, right? Okay, there goes the bubbles. The bubbles are coming towards the hook. I love that. So you kind of, the great thing about that is you have an idea when it's going to actually, you know, they're going to bite. So it helps you, you know, you don't have to just be sitting there and have no idea. You see those bubbles coming and you know it's time to get, to pull that in, pull the, um, the hook in or lure or whatever you call it. I'm not much of a fish fisherman, so you know, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, and I don't like boats. I get dizzy, but I've been out on boats. Um, I've been, you know, uh, out several times, actually. Actually, I think I went once on a lake. That was in Connecticut. Yeah, my friend took me out on a lake in Connecticut with her, her family, and we went out on their boat, and I felt okay on that. The lake is totally steady. 
but out in the ocean, ugh, not having too much fun. But yeah, that was that was good in the lake. I had a nice time. Okay, puffer fish. Cool. Yeah, that was somewhere in Connecticut. I don't remember the name of the lake, but uh, that was a lot of fun. Okay, so just waiting for fishing, fishing. <laughs> This is actually very cool, all this stuff. Let's see if we get something different now. Let's see if we could get something. It would be cool if I could leave it, like the way you can take a fishing pole and like, um, oh, more salmon, Um, leave it like, you know how there's like this, um, I would say like an anchor where you could leave it in the ground. They sell this device that you just put the fishing pole in there and you leave it. Um, I wish there was a way in the game I could do that and walk away, you know? But then that would be kind of pointless because I would have to keep checking as soon as, you know, um, you know, there's a bite, I would have to come back, but that could be cool if you could put like three fishing poles at the same time, like you could in real life, kind of, so it would be kind of cool. I've seen that along the beach, you know, they put a, people put a few fishing poles in a line, um, but that's the kind of fishing that takes a while, that you just leave it, you know, not like I had mentioned before, snapper fishing or Minecraft fishing that is much quicker. <laughs> come on, where are those bubbles? Where are those bubbles? I don't see them. Oh, see, sometimes it just takes much longer there it goes, there it goes. I see those bubbles, there it comes. Oh, what's this? Oh, we got a name tag, very cool. Wow, you can get everything. I really hope we get some, come on. I am convinced we're gonna get a diamond, come on. Why can't I pull a diamond out of the water? I know you're like, well, how does that hook up? I don't know how it hooks up to the hook, but who can, whoa, I was too slow there. Oh, okay. I don't know what I did there, actually. Actually, I took my hand away from the mouse and I wasn't quick enough, I guess, so. Oh, well, what are you going to do? So just wait. I wonder, I don't think the squid, I'll have to see about that. But I'm pretty sure that, like I mentioned, um, we we don't get the, the squid, the raw squid from um, in vanilla Minecraft. That must be from one of the mods in Magic Farm. So just waiting, waiting. Oh, I'm really happy about my Feed the Beast Unleashed series. I finally found, I think, a decent um, landmass that I could actually do something there because it was like a whole water biome. The whole thing was, wa I mean, the whole world is water. It's horrible. But I think I finally found um, a decent place. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I can move forward in the game because I was really stuck. But see, with a little patience, I finally got, um, I finally found a landmass. So I think it looks pretty cool. And we could definitely, I could definitely do stuff there. So that's what I'm going to get started. I'm just, I was exploring a bit, but let me do some stuff first. I'm not let me, but I'm going to do some stuff first. Like, you know, make a small home base and, and get some machines going in. And then maybe I'll explore again. I definitely plan on exploring again. And here I definitely should explore as well. I just need to get a good home base going, get some decent armor, and then we could check out some of the new biomes here in vanilla Minecraft as well. So they've really done some nice things with the update, and I'm really happy. I mean, it's just the game is really evolving really nicely. And it's great that you pay, like, whatever it is, 20, what is it, like $28? Oh, I missed that one. I, I was a little too quick. You pay something like $28 for a game that is constantly being updated is is nice. You don't have to pay any monthly fee or anything extra. I think it's nice that, you know... They're constantly working on it. So I do think that's like an awesome part of it, you know. So anyway, just waiting here and fishing. Let's just fish a couple more. Let's do two more. Okay, so we have quite a bit of fish. Our puffer fish, our raw sal salmon, our leather, lily pad, and a name tag. Come on, I'm convinced we could get a diamond. Come on, we could fish up a diamond. Why not? <laughs> I mean, I can't do much with one diamond, but... I would be happy. Okay, let's just do, this is the last one, because I know you guys are probably, like, bored. So, but I'm having fun fishing. It's neat to see what you can get. So let's see. Let's see what we got here. Come on, one more, one more. Let's see those bubbles. Let's see those bubbles. Come on. One more. Last one. Okay, now it's taking forever, just because I said last one. Taking forever. Come on, bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. This one is a long one. Come on, something good this time. This is going to be a diamond for sure. I'm convinced. Okay, it doesn't know I'm fishing. The game just stopped or something. Just to drive me crazy. <laughs> Come on! There it goes, there it goes. Diamond. Oh, just a fish. Okay, that's okay. All right, we did pretty good. All right, I'm pretty excited about it. We can put our fishing pole rod away. I keep saying pole. So we have, And we can enchant them too, so that's going to be great. That's something I really need to get started right away is enchanting because I'd love to see how we can enchant um, our fishing rods, so that'll be fun. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna use some coal actually, and let's go ahead and continue cooking up the iron. Now, I do have some leggings, right? So let's go ahead and make our um, helmet. Oh, I forgot to use the drag feature. I always forget that. Okay, and let's uh, go ahead and make our chest, right? There we go, chest plate, awesome. And let's make our boots. Okay, sorry about that. Um, let's see what we're we doing. We're making um, we're making boots. I messed that up. Okay, there we go. We got some boots. So now we have a whole set of armor. Yay! I don't know why this is always dark like that. It's weird graphic problem. All right, so now I have my full set of armor. Not too bad. So and we still have a lot of iron, so I can make a few swords, some pickaxes. So I'm ready to go. Hopefully, we'll find some obsidian. We could go to the Nether soon. Hopefully. So. Oh, we've got some, oh, this is good. Let's grab some wheat here. So I wanna see if there's some animals nearby, some sheep. Let's see if we could breed some sheep. And we've got some seeds. So let's go ahead and click here. Oh, I have to make, where's the, do I have a hole? Let's see, what did I do? I messed all this up, I don't know why. Let's see what we got here. I don't have a hole? I thought I did. Okay, let's go ahead and make a hole. And there we go. And some sticks. There we go. Awesome. So that I can fix my little farm. I don't know why it was messed up. Must have jumped on it or something. I don't remember. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's just finish it. I like to have it all pretty and even. All right. Pretty good. Nice. Okay. That's all done, right? Okay. So where did the sheep go? There was a sheep here. Oh gosh, now he disappeared. What a bummer. He was right here. Okay, I hear chickens. Do I have the wheat? Yeah, I do. Oh, and I have a little bit of seed, only one seed. I could feed the poor little chickens as well. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Um, we got a chicken here. Where did the sheep go? How far could he go? He just like disappeared. Oh gosh, it's nighttime. Now the monster's gonna attack me. This is good that we've got a lot of trees and these trees are big. So we've got quite a lot of wood in the area. Oh, I thought it was becoming nighttime. It's not, it's just that weird thing I think from the super secret settings that I can't, someone told me how to fix that. Was it F5? See, I don't remember. I have to read the comments again. Someone did say, I don't remember if it's F something to reset it. What happened to the sheep? I'm so upset. Ugh. I cannot believe I've lost the sheep. I thought there was more than one over here, but I guess not. What flower is this? Did we get this already? We might have. Let's see. This one is, oh yeah, we got that one. I do have that one, so that's pretty cool. Now, someone mentioned in the comments that you can hide in tall grass and the monsters won't see you, which is really neat, actually. So I have to see how that works. That would be cool, actually. So if you're running through a forest and you're running away from monsters, scared out of your wits, <laughs> you just um, hide in tall grass. So that, uh, I mean, that's really cool. I didn't know about that. So thank you very much for that comment. So I'll have to try that out sometime. Okay, so I'm just actually, oh, and someone else mentioned, because I was saying that it's so weird how smooth uh, the game is running, like when I run or when I walk, like when I sprint, or walk, it's just like I'm moving smoothly. That's because I have bobbing off and I didn't realize that. So let me go ahead and see, um, let's see. Let's go to options, right? And uh, where would that be actually? Um, there it is, view bobbing. So now I put it on, let's see. I actually did not know that. There we go. Now it looks like I'm really walking. Okay, the smoothness is when you're bobbing off. I didn't know. You know, it's a setting that I never touched. That's why I didn't know. I never touched that setting. So I guess it's always automatically on because since I never touch it, but this time it's not on. So, all right, there we go. We got some seeds. Pretty good. I don't know what happened to the sheep. It's gone. I'm so sad. <laughs> I really wanted to uh, try to get a few sheep nearby, you know, and start feeding them so that they would have little babies and we'd have a whole like sheep, you know, we'd have a lot of sheep in the area, but I can't find this. Okay, let's head over here and see if there are any animals. I'm just looking for animals right now. So let's see what I see over here. Let's see now. Any animals, nothing. Now we do have a swamp, which is neat. So hopefully we'll catch some slime, get some slime. So these are sugar canes, they look darker, but they definitely are sugar canes. 
actually, let's grab these. And what I could do is actually plant them again so that they continue to grow. I probably need, whoa, I probably need paper later on. Bookshelves, stuff like that. So it's always good to have extra of those. Now what I should do, because I get lost really easily, what biome are we in? Let's check this out. We are in planes. Okay, so nothing fancy. Um, now where did I come from? See, now I'm lost already. See how easily I get lost? Let's see. I, I went across the water, didn't I? Let's see. <laughs> I get lost. Oh, this is nice. Is this like a little dungeon here? This is not. There's some clay over there I see. Just kind of exploring a little bit. It's like a little dungeon area maybe. Not very deep. All right, so what I want to do is actually I want to head back and what I need to do, what is that over there? There's something odd there. Do you see something like brownish on the ground there? What is that? It's probably nothing, but what is that? A tree? Huh. Is that like a little, oh no, it's nothing. I thought it was like a little tree. It's actually in between like a little area that you see dirt from far away and it looked like a mini tree, but nah, nothing. All right, so I got to find my way back now because I get lost very easily. There we go. What I'm going to do now is make like a tower. Otherwise, I get lost like right away. So I'm going to make a tower right by my home so I can find my way back. Otherwise, forget it. Now, eventually, when we get the beacon, which is always very difficult for me to get, but eventually, I've done it before, but it was hard um, to kill the wither. Uh, once I have a beacon, then I'll be able to see, you know, easily my home, but... That's going to take me a while, especially those wither skeleton uh, skulls are really hard. I've always had problems with that. <laughs> it takes me forever. There we go. How's that? Wow, this is a nice view from up here, huh? Pretty cool. Okay, so we got some swamp over there. This is a type of forest that I don't know what type of trees. These are birch, are they? So we've got a desert nearby, so that's great. So we have cactuses. This is really a great place to spawn in. So ooh, look at that cool mushroom over there. So yeah, pretty cool. Now let me just go a little bit higher and I'm going to fall into the tree. Hopefully it won't kill me completely. Let's eat up first. Not that it matters. I have full health, but okay. There we go. Okay, gonna. I think this is tall enough, don't you think? You could see this over everything. There we go. Ouch. There we go. It's okay. <laughs> All right, so now I have that ugly tower. I know you're saying that's ugly, but I won't have that forever. I'm thinking of, of building a really tall home here. Um, I usually don't build tall. I usually build something like wide like house, but I think in this let's play I've decided I'm going to be a little different. I'm going to build a really tall home that I don't know if it's going to be like a treehouse type of home or, you know, where all the main, you know, the main area is all the way upstairs or um, I'm just going to have lots of floors maybe. I haven't decided yet. But definitely, um, there's a lot of options, like, for the actual um, look of it. Now, with the stained glass and everything, we could really make it look cool. So, and so many different types of blocks in this game now that, that we could really uh, make something interesting, I think. Just use your imagination, you know. So, let me go ahead and uh, plant this. And what I do want to do is cook up this fish, actually. I wanted to see, I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but... There we go. We got all our iron. Let's cook up this puffer fish. I feel sorry for him. He's cute. Oh, it doesn't cook. Huh. So then what is the point of the puffer fish? Now this one will cook, obviously. So you don't eat puffer fish. So, hmm. So what is it used for? Is there a use for it is my question. Can you do something with it? I don't know now. That's kind of interesting. We can't cook it up. So I don't know what it's used for. Huh. I'll have to look that up because I have no idea. I mean, if there's something that it can be used for. There we go. So we got some cooked salmon. So that's pretty good. And I have a ton of fish to cook up. So that's great. And we have a name tag. So I have a lot of stuff to put away. And fishing was fun. I enjoyed it. I'll do a little bit off camera as well because this way maybe if I get some other different things then I'll just show you quickly rather than actually having to torture you with the actual fishing, the whole thing <laughs> that could take hours. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that. I think that's a nice... Um, bonus that they added. Let me go ahead and check what the um, puffer fish, if there's anything we can do with it, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm back, and yeah, puffer fish, we could use puffer fish for brewing. So I think we, we use that with an awkward potion in brewing, and we actually get something that will help, like a potion that will help us breathe underwater, which makes sense. The puffer fish, he kind of holds his breath, right, I guess? Or, well, maybe he doesn't hold his breath, but you know, it's that idea. So that's a great thing. So we could also tame um, 
and we could get cats, a type of cat, ginger cat, from uh, the puffer fish. So there's a couple things it's used for. So that's good. I looked it up because I had no idea. So pretty cool. All right, I think we've got our fish now. I don't remember getting the achievement for cook. There's an achievement. I don't remember getting that. Maybe I did, but I don't remember. Anyway, so yeah, puffer fish do have a use. So now I know because I had no idea. So that's cool. All right, so we'll definitely save that for later on for when it, we get our brewing station set up. So I have quite a bit of food and we've got some, uh, oh, quite a bit of iron too. And let's just put these things away that we don't need right now. And we are collecting uh, sugar canes. So that's good. We got some wheat. Yeah, doing pretty good here. Awesome. All right, well, we've got a lot more to do. Um, what I'm gonna do is probably do a little mining, maybe, um, just a little bit off camera, and then uh, and then we'll see what we do, um, hopefully, in the next episode. Maybe I'll start building a little bit, but I really need to get more supplies. So mining is something I need to do right now. I need to really get a whole bunch of supplies going for um, to really move forward to be able to build something cool and interesting. So. Um, and let's see if somehow I could get um, some enchants, you know, let's see if I could get some obsidian and stuff like that. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We had a very relaxed fishing episode, but that's okay. There's a lot of new things in fishing, so it was nice, nice that we could, you know, test it out and see. Now, I think there's some other fish we can get. I'm hoping there's other stuff besides uh, just the salmon and the puffer fish. But um, I'll continue fishing. If I get something, then I'll show you in the next episode, hopefully. So thanks so much, guys, for watching. Remember to leave a like, and that really helps me out. And I know you enjoy the series. So thank you so much. Let me know suggestions on what I should do next or something you'd like to see next. And I'll see you in the next episode, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.